In answer to the intense prayers of the devotees, God incarnates himself in different forms from time to time and brings to the world a flood wave of divine ecstasy. Then, having shown the path leading from darkness unto light, he merges himself back into the unmanifest. Shri Ma's father, Shri Bipin Bihari Bhattacharya, was a religious and large-hearted person and was always immersed in divine bhava. Her mother, Srimati Mokshada Sundari Devi, was pure, calm and totally devoid of anger with a tolerance comparable to that of Mother Earth herself. Theirs was a family like that of the Rishis of Yore. On 30th April 1896, 19th Vaisak, at a little known village called Khyora in Bangladesh, Srimati Mokshada Sundari gave birth to a beautiful, bright daughter at dawn. This little girl was none other than our Ma. This child grew up happily in the peaceful and pure atmosphere of this village. It was seen that all knowledge and jnana manifested itself untaught from within her. Unlike other children, she did not cry at birth. When she grew up, she said, Why should I cry? I was looking at the mango tree through the gap in the fence. It was as if the formless was first having a view of the leela of form. February, Ma was given in marriage to Sri Ramani Mohan Chakravarti of Dhaka, Vikrampur. She was only 12 years and 10 months old at that time. Later on, her husband came to be known as Baba Bhulanath amongst the devotees.
having seen the light of absolute knowledge in her, Ma's maternal cousin asked her, Who are you? Ma replied, Puruna Brahma Narayan. Ma, who is the embodiment of all gods and goddesses, said that Namaz and Kirtan are the one and the same. In 1926, when Ma was residing at Sahabad and Kirtan was in progress, Ma, in a state of bhava, came to a Muslim mazar outside and started reciting the namaz clearly and loudly, as Muslims do. After this, Ma stayed with her parents in Bhulanath at Sahabad for some time. Staying at Dhaka, Sri Jyoti Chandra Roy came to Ma and took refuge at her feet. He is a respected Bhaiji. Soon after this, in 1932, Ma left and started traveling to unknown places with Bhulanath and Bhaiji. Thus began Ma's incessant travel from place to place in India. At Dhaka, once Bhaiji perceived Ma in the throne of Siddheshwari in a very happy mood. From that day, he said, Ma would be named as Anundumuima. And since then, the entire world calls her Anundamuhi Ma. Residing at Dhaka, the civil surgeon of Dhaka, Sri Shoshanko Mohan Mukhopadhyay, came in close contact with Ma and became her devotee. He took sannyas in the name of Akhandananda. His daughter, Adarini Devi, is our highly respected Guru Priya Devi. Ma 
Ma's family life was truly wonderful. Although married, Ma never had an ordinary husband-wife relationship with Bhulanap. The whole day, Ma carried on all normal domestic duties to perfection. At night, she would herself prepare tobacco for her husband and spend the whole night in the play of sadhana. Seeing all this, Bhulanap used to get surprised. Ultimately, he used to fall asleep. For the sake of Leela, the personification of Bhulanath in the form of Shiva was hidden and mystic Leela continued. But those who could really perform sadhana could surely find out the true nature of Bhulanath. Ma used to say, Bhulanath is Bhulanath. While lying down beside her, the inner feeling of Bhulanath was so simple as if he was lying down with a child. Who would understand this unusual situation?
according to Vaidik Dhara, women can also wear the sacred thread. At Tara Peet, in January 1936, Ma gave the sacred thread to Marunidi and Didi. Ma gave Didi the full right of Brahmachari. Later on, with Ma's blessings, buying of land for Kashi Ashram, making the arrangements for the Savitri Mahayagga, and establishing Kanya Peet and Vidya Peet were Didi's great achievements. As long as Didi was physically fit, she worked very hard for the ashram and thus performed Ma's seva with sincerity. Oh, <laughs> 
খুব ভাল এসে বেশ বাজনা টাজনা হচ্ছে বাজনা টাজনা হচ্ছে রকমারি করে বাজনা হচ্ছে কত বুঝলে তো একেবারে রকমারি করে বাজনা হচ্ছে রকমারি করে বাজনা হতে হতে একজন এমন ভাবে নাইচা নাইচা বাজাচ্ছে সে চিঠিয়ে পড়ে বুঝলে তো আগে আগে হাসছো কেন শোনো তারপরে চিঠি এসে পড়ে গেছে তো পড়ে গেছে পড়ে গেছে পড়ে গেছে এ একজন উস্তাদ ছিল উস্তাদ বেশ গম্ভীর ভাবে বসেছে বসেছে বসে এসে বলল বলে তুই এখানে কি যে না বিয়ের আমার টাকা পয়সা বেশি নাই কাজে বেশি টাকা পয়সা থাকতো তা নয় না জানি এই চিত্রঙ্গি বাদ্যের মধ্যে কি আসছে কার ভাবে আরো সুন্দর হতো ওটা এর মধ্যেই করে দিল